Sometimes, Sagittarius, your journey is not an, your journey is an existential one. It's not one that is actually travel. It's a sense of you testing yourself and testing your life and putting yourself into some pretty harsh situations because what you want to understand is, because that's the way that you learn about people, is that you put yourself out there. Um, and I think that that's what's happened in your life. You have really put yourself out there. And in a lot of ways, it has taken you so far away from who you really are that you've had a hard time. Hold on. You've had a hard time coming back. Um, now, this could have caused some major issues uh, in your life. Um, uh, you know, it's, it could have manifested in a lot of different ways, and you would know those ways. Um, but ultimately, um, you really had to earn where you are right now. And where you are right now is the most interesting and unexpected place of them all. And that's home. Um, interestingly enough, where you always think of Sagittarius being home on the road or home um, traveling or exploring or putting themselves to the test. No, this is actually finding a place of belonging and where you really want to be and stay for a long time. And having made that decision, be starting to plan your future. And it's it's interesting how it's like, Sometimes you have to go far, far away to, especially as a Sagittarius, you do, you have to travel far away in order to really appreciate um, what, what home is. Um, there's a divine sense of peace about you right now, um, a divine sense of understanding about where your priorities lie and what you really want to take care of, finding yourself in an unexpected state of comfort and in a way let me explain this to you it's like in a way you would feel uncomfortable with the comfort because staying in one place or stagnating isn't for you but this doesn't feel like stagnation this feels like another adventure an adventure that you may be taking in the same zip code an adventure that you may be taking in, in the same house but an adventure nonetheless because you've never really been here before. And it took you a lot of adventures and a lot of going far away to come back to where you are right now. There could have been so many different challenges in your life that you faced in terms of not being able to live at home or in terms of being a conflict with your family, um, in terms of being a conflict with yourself or jumping from one relationship to another or um, a sense of, in some ways, um, putting yourself into dangerous situations, right? Um there's a certain respect now for all of that. A certain appreciation for just how blessed you were and divinely guided you were, protected during those moments in your life because you've just almost come to the point in your life, it's almost like you're now looking at the reason why. You've come to that point where you're looking at the reason why more bad shit didn't happen to me or why I wasn't completely ruined at that time in my life. Or maybe, you know, I didn't pull the trigger or I um, didn't, um, you know, jump off that cliff when when it was this close. You were so close to doing it. Um, you're looking right now at the seed of happiness of of realizing why why like my life has brought me to this point um there's a lot of dark clouds that could be accumulating above your head right now especially when it comes to different kinds of talk or chatter from your friends um now why do i start with the happy news because the happy news is really where you are but ultimately somehow when we get happy our past always tries to like suck us back in you know drag us back down like somebody always wants us to feel miserable and maybe in some ways, that's why they were our friend, because they that, you know, we we were willing to roll around in the mud with them. But now that we're you're at a place where you're not willing to roll around in the mud anymore, you find that there is this lack of loyalty or this this pushback to um, your choices or commentary that is um, 
kind of shocking to you, uh, a discovery that you did, you, you would not have expected, you know, being somebody you, yes, you can get judgmental, but it's like judgmental, philosophically judgmental in that moment. And then you just forget about it. You know, there's this sense of even making, even when you make a negative judgment about somebody, um, it's not like you hold it over their head. You don't really hold shit over people's head. This is a sense of being really took, taken off guard because somebody has held shit over your head. And it's like, it feels like it's coming out of the blue, but the reality is it's, it's always been there. Um, you were just too happy or maybe in the same situation to recognize it. Um, there's definitely some um, all of a sudden news coming into you from your social circle. Um, uh, interesting. Uh, and it, it's, it's sort of about a false, a false sense of loyalty, um, um, sort of a confused sense of, um, happiness. It's almost like, um, it's not real happiness. Um, yeah, like I, I, I guess, um, I guess you're running into people who maybe were not really happy for you. The wonderful thing about this is, um, now you'll know who your real friends are right? That, that's really what the, the beauty of this moment is, 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 uh, the revel, the re reveal, the big reveal of now, you know, who your real friends are, um, and sticking up for being fiercely devoted to and fiercely in love. Um, you could very well have just found somebody that is new, um, being in a relationship, uh, that really solidified you and made you feel good about yourself and good about your life, uh, a love that you will stick up for and stand up for, um, regardless of what comes after you. Hold on. Um, yeah, so th in other words, uh, uh, something that you are in love with enough, or I feel like it's a someone that you are in love with enough to sort of look at all this falsehood in the eye um, look and, and not even get that angry. Um, yeah, it's just interesting what happens when real happiness happens. This, this sense of not letting any of it get you down. Um, and not, it's because you're not a kind of person that gets down. So it's not about not letting it get you down. It's not letting it, this is the unique part about this experience, is that you're not letting it suck you back in. Because you realize that you belong somewhere else now. That you don't need all that bullshit. That there is another way to be happy without being overcrowded with all the clatter of all the social life and all the social appeal. Um, there is a place for you outside of that. And you really do want to be outside of that. Your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle sort of a deliverer or the messenger. And that's really, that is kind of what you are in, so, in sort of the big picture kind of way. Um, just this sense of through your example and through your life and through the changes and transformation that you're going through, you showing that um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, almost like taking your life to another level. Um, a, a, like a life designed by yourself. You know, defining your life on your own terms, realizing that you have a right to, and in some ways, blazing a trail in doing so, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So this is that pull that you maybe have just been start, just, just gotten connected to, that pull to return to where you belong, um, to where it is right for you, to be around those people that you love so much. You could have recently just visited home or just gone home or, or something like that. There's just this sense of, coming together in oh it's almost like coming back together but as a different person a person that doesn't take things as personally a person that doesn't let people get them down a person that is very self self-possessed and knows who they are um a person that's filled with happiness and happiness is your biggest shield right now the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits and soul tribe yeah sagittarius you're definitely um weeding out the shitty shitty shitheads in your life and you're gathering it may you know your your group may be condensing um or not condensing um your group may be getting smaller, but ultimately it's getting a lot 
filled with a lot more quality. Um, this is a gathering. You're definitely going somewhere. You're definitely getting together. There's some sort of get together that you're that that that's that's coming. That maybe it was this past weekend during Halloween. Um, we're definitely heading into Sagittarius season as well. But there is this sense of coming together, um, coming together in celebration, having fun. It could be a wedding, could be a baptism, um, it could be a celebration. But there's definitely a celebration, something to toast, something that oh my god, if you're not married already you could be getting married soon right if it's not about that if that you know that's just for some of you um but um if it's not about that there then then it's it's definitely about just getting together coming back uh together with people who really love you um yeah the, the people who really count right align yourself what is not aligned or needs to change it's it's so clear now what doesn't belong there is there is um definitely things that are getting in the way and it's it's like it's so clear because it's like as you're trying to fit the puzzle piece you can now see oh that's not part of the puzzle piece that's a little pebble i gotta get that out of the way and it's so clear now because you're ready to come together you're ready to feel whole it's 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 so obvious to pick out those things that are keeping you from from doing so um yeah, this is returning home. This is protection. This is you are divinely protected, wanting to feel safe, wanting to feel warm. This is a very domestic kind of feeling that is sort of unique for you, but ultimately a sense of wanting to, you could be you wanting to create a sense of safety, really just feeling completely, completely loved um, and getting back to source, your source, um, that place of strength for you. You could be spending a lot of time around children right now. You could be spending a lot of time with your children right now a sense of feeling or finding out why like if, if your children have been at a distance from you being able to like get them back into your life again and that makes you feel whole again um there's a change in you and this is a permanent change it's not one that you come back from uh it's not one that you want to come back from um definitely reconstructing your life based on what you've learned does not work for you uh getting those pebbles out of the way you're putting the pieces together Things are really starting to come together. Divine feminine energy came out for you. It was really interesting. A sense of receiving and accepting and allowing. Um, also a sense of nurturing and mothering. Once again, there's a, even, if, even if it's masculine, energy, it, even if you're a man, it doesn't matter. There's a strong sense of um, being cared for or taking care of, um, um, feeling safe and secure, being around in energy. Um, I don't know if you're around your mother, um, but this is this is more the divine feminine energy inside of you. Um, this is a greater joy than you've experienced in, in most of your life. Yeah, this beautiful sense of balance and happiness. This is also reminding me of Christmas time. I don't know what you guys got planned about Christmas time. Um but it's happy. It's going to be, it's going to be just so filled with radiant. And I don't know why I got that. I think it's this card. Um, let's put it this way. You're going to be put into a situation. Either you were put into a situation recently or it's coming up that normally would feel completely and totally uncomfortable for you. And it's not going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be filled with joy and happiness and abundance and reception. I also feel that there is a celebration that's coming. Let's get into the major, the main part of the reading, Sag. Hold on. Okay. This is Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius, please. Energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. I think the cards had to realign themselves. How to restructure themselves. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is a big reading. Okay. Let's start with the top first. I like that. Something has been bugging you. Um, this is hurt and pain and suffering that you've experienced throughout your life or something that, that wouldn't stop bugging you. 
uh, take a leap of faith. I really feel like there was a sense of um, dread somehow about what was coming up. <laughs> um, and you were just basically going along with it to, um, because you felt either, not felt like you had to, you wanted things to be different. And so you kind of decided that I'm going to take this chance simply because I want things to be different. But ultimately, I don't know that they're going to be different. Um, this is a complete and total leap of faith because my experiences up until now have just been, um, you know, this circumstance always hurts me. Watch and wait. You've been very patient. You've been very uh, pra practical in terms of your patience. Um, You've also been very calm and very understanding and allowing and accepting. This is Piscean energy, sort of conceptualizing what, how it is, like dreaming how it is you want things to be. Um, um, but I think, that, in other words, this has been building up. There's something building up inside of you. You're you're doing it, but you're not completely sure of it. This is something, not, not necessarily an engagement, um, but something that you, I feel like it does have to do with a social gathering though. Um, you're doing it, but you're not necessarily sure of it. There's a little bit of anxiety, but there's also hope. Um, this is let it shine. So something coming out, I, I, maybe that's what you're fearing. You're fearing something from the past coming back or people re-drudging or drudging the old pains and the old hurt and the old sorrow. And you just don't fucking want that. You know what I'm saying? That it's like you would rather avoid it. And maybe that's why you avoid some family uh, situations. And clearly, yes, I mean, the past does influence the future. But ultimately, I think that the future is standing out front and center. That You're just afraid of like the past coming back up and like that's all that's being talked about but I don't think that that's what's going to happen um ultimately this is a new start a new beginning you want to be freed you want to be freed from all that heaviness from all that suffering and pain or expectations that people had of you like oh we know Sagittarius he's just going to let us down or we know Sagittarius she's a fucking hoe you know that sense of like you wanted to get get away from all that because you know that you're different now and you don't want any of that shit coming up and you and there there may be a little bit of anxiety or anticipation around um this gathering because you just you don't like you want to have a good time you want to be who you are now you don't want to be sucked back into the old you but a behaving differently is 100% your choice. And remember how I, I heard, I love this saying, life is 20% what happens to you and 80% how you react. So ultimately, if you have really changed, there's nothing to be afraid of because you're not going to react the same way. And therefore, there's not going to be the same outcome. Um, freedom is yours from the past. You've learned from the past. You've actually really learned. And that's how you know that you've basically conquered the past is when you've allowed it to teach you something. So you have definitely, your freedom from the past is guaranteed. You're not going to repeat the past. It's not going to happen in the same way. You have actually officially moved on because you have learned. You've learned. You've learned the triggers. Um, you've learned not to expect something from somebody or to expect more for yourself. You've, you've taken all that you've gone through and you've allowed it to create this new person that you are. So you don't have to be afraid of, of gatherings where you'll bump into people from your past or family members because the change is really coming from you. And that's how you can be sure of it. Um, yeah, this is public recognition. Let your light shine a more Aquarius energy. So truth coming out, truth being revealed, but also I think it's like being your true self, right? And feeling really good about yourself, taking the lead to, to make this happen, to take the first steps. Um, I think it was your leadership or your example that actually helped to shine light where there wasn't before, give hope where there wasn't, um, especially when it came to your family, defending your family, protecting your family, or basically helping your family be happy again, return to a sense of happiness. This is also a sense of your dream home, finding your dream home, um, understanding it, realizing it, learning about it, learning how to go about seeing seeking it and finding it and getting it. Um, 
And this is set healthy boundaries, uh, make your dreams real. Um, this is about, this is about basically, um, um, making sure that you stay away from trouble, uh, making sure that you stay away from those things that could suck you in or bring you down. I mean, sometimes ultimately, Sag, it is not about, um, um, it's about learning what to avoid, right? <laughs> That's what it is. Um, and I think that you have, you have, you have sort of, um, uh, you understand now that you have a right to say, hold on, no to things that do not work for you and do not serve you. Um, you've pointed out the particular danger and the manipulative aspects, maybe of a specific character or person that you're dealing with. Um, set healthy boundaries. It's almost like if you don't want to crawl into the spider web, don't even engage it because ultimately that's where it wins. Um, this is a sense of basically just staying away from it. Maybe you have stayed away from it for too long. And that's why. That's why it came out. You stayed away because you don't want to get sucked in. That's why. That's why you've stayed away. Because you just don't want to get sucked in. But ultimately, um, let's see. Let's see what happens in the future. Because this, this love is all around. Uh, this is happiness. This is... Uh, but this is also a sense of building your home. This is also, I could see, we could see this in a totally different light. You could see this as building your home where you're safe and you're protected and where people have to play by your rules. You know, there's a sense of now building your new life where you're the one that calls the shots and you're not at somebody else's mercy anymore. Uh, love is all around. There you go. This is Gemini energy. It's a sense of knowing yourself and clearly being able to articulate it. It's also a sense of, it's very joyful. It's very, very music filled. It's very celebratory, like a dance or um, a reception, but ultimately it's living amongst love um, and loving who you are. Like, uh, like really incorporating love into everything about yourself, loving who you are. This is self-love. Um, this is pride in oneself. This is um, a feeling of self, uh, like assuredness. Life is speeding up. This is things coming together. This is Gemini energy too. Um, uh, Gemini is, of course, where the North Node is right now. It's also where the Moon is as I do this recording. So there's a sense of feeling very free, emotionally feeling light, allowing yourself to let go of those things that have bogged you down and made you feel heavy um, and instead look toward the future. Um, this is uh, this is Aries energy too. claim your independence. This is when this is claiming your independence from um, that past those past even past expectations of yourself. Like sometimes we can like de de make decisions about ourselves. Oh, I know I'm going to fail and it sets us up for failure. No, you're, you've relinquished that. It's all about the future now. It's all about what's coming and things really are coming together. You can be playful. This is more play. This is more playful energy. This is enjoying your surroundings and bringing people into a gathering, like gathering people together or coming together with a specific one person in order to be happy. Um, and magic works through you. This is Cancerian energy, which is changing form changing from one form of your life to another actually kind of like finished finishing out with but this is also oh this is also love and home this is domestic fourth house energy of a sense of finally your home fine or finally somebody that you love has come back to you and you have your family around you again um um yeah 100 percent. it's it's almost like um love Love made the fucking difference. Let's go into um, tarot. I know you think, oh, maybe I don't know. Like tarot always gets to the nitty gritty. So let's extend that message. That link is in the description box below. Also right now, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel and help Born Without Boundaries grow. You can also join me Monday through Friday. Um, uh, it's Pacific time, California time, uh, for a daily live tarot card readings on Instagram. Um, my handle is born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram. And then last but not least, of course, is Vimeo with that link below will take you. There's so much content that is Sagittarius specific browse through it's, it's timeless. And, um, uh, I'm sure that you'll find something that you can relate to and enjoy. Also subscribing to my um, 
um, uh, mailing address will get you a lot of things coming directly from my website before anybody else does, including my astrological forecasts So um, that I do weekly now. So let's get into, before we move to the extended, Sagittarius, I just want to draw some angel card energy for you. I have to say, this is like my favorite part of every reading. Um, I think because I love hearing how the angels kind of like listen. You know, it's almost like they sit into these readings. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, hold on. Really interesting. Love it. Okay. So, compassion. And we got that before. When you show greater compassion toward yourself... The universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. So it's a self-hatred um, or maybe external conflict you had kind of internalized into a self-hatred or self-doubt. Ultimately, this is a sense of giving yourself a second chance and believing in yourself again. And when that happens, it's almost like the doors open up for you um, and it changes your soul. Courage. You have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. So you're at a time in your life when you're ready to explore something new or do something new. Um, and ultimately, that's a very beautiful thing. Um, I feel like your compassion for yourself has kind of made you a little bit more compassionate for somebody else. And maybe that's what's giving you the courage. Um, angel messages are saying, this is the right time. If you have to confront something that's uncomfortable for you, Sagittarius, this is the right time to do it because you have the courage in you to do it now. Uh, determination. Determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. Um, so you never gave up. You never gave in. And ultimately, that's changing your life. You've basically constructed this new life for yourself. Um, so ultimately, like I said, you don't have to be afraid of rolling through the old town. Or tomatoes that get thrown at you because it doesn't change you. You've changed inside. Harmony. Uh, disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. So that's that sense of music coming back into your life. Um, I don't know through, through maybe connection with somebody else or through music itself, but ultimately there's a sense of having a happy space that you know you can always return to. Please let's go to tarot. Um, join me for tarot. That link is below. I'll continue this message over in the extended. I'll see you there.